Don't you get it? You're a slave and you don't even know it. This is the scariest part of our life that psychologists tell us that we can live a whole existence and we hang around an echo chamber of people. We get algorithms that give us certain things on social media, whether it's political, whether it's theological, whether it's scientific, whether it's about church life. The algorithms are set. You have confirmation bias. You hang out with people who believe what you believe, dress like you dress, vote like you vote, talk like you talk. You sit in a world where you actually, what happens to you is you don't get deceived necessarily by others. What starts to happen is you have self-deception. This is why Matthew chapter seven, one of the scariest passages in the Bible says, you can be deceived by false teachers who lead you astray. But then he also says there's a group that's gonna get to judgment day and say, Jesus, we cast out demons in your name. We healed people in your name. We did all of these things in your name. And what does Jesus say? Away from me, I never knew you. You were actually doing Christian-y things, but you never knew him. What happened in those moments? It wasn't that someone else deceived you, it's that you were self-deceived. That's the scariest position to be in. I'm not a slave, I'm fine. And he goes, guys, you're all slaves. <laughs>